Um, a sociological study that rolled out this week, in fact, most of the major kind of secular media outlets picked it up. Uh, it was a pretty big study on Instagram and its effects on us. And, and here's the conclusion, not by Christians. The conclusion is Instagram leads to depression. All right? Instagram leads to depression. And, and here's why. Here's why. Because if we could just paint the picture like it actually happens. You just finished blowing through a whole season of something on Netflix. You have not got out of your pajama pants that day. You crawl into bed and you grab your phone and you start scrolling through your Instagram account. And here's what you find. Everybody's marriage is awesome. And their kids are incredible. And they're just counting money. And they don't struggle, and there's no pain, and there's no sorrow. And here you are in your trial, ate a whole gallon of ice cream, watching a series on Netflix, you already, and you start to resent them. And you start to grow in anger against them. Really, me, Lord? I'm enduring this trial? What about them? And in your trial, your insidious, wicked heart will be exposed. And comparison is how it plays itself out. So just so you know, I'm not dogging you, I'm dogging us. Um, after my diagnosis with brain cancer, it happened around Christmas, and um, I, I was in a dark place. So no cape on me, I was in a dark place. Everything I saw was lost. I couldn't look at my daughters because I would think, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get to walk them down the aisle. I'm not going to get to na help them navigate through the travails of being a teenage girl in this depraved day. I couldn't look at my son because I thought, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to encourage him to become the man that he's. And everywhere I looked, I just saw loss. And it was that time of year where everybody sends you a picture of their family and dog on a card. And so what Lauren does with those is she puts them all over our mantle and then she puts them on our Christmas trees. And um, I'm sitting on the couch, Lauren and the kids were gone and I'm um, sitting there just feeling sorry for myself and um, just really running through everything I was losing and the fact that really the next two years of my life they're gonna poison me and radiate me and then I was just gonna melt away and everything that was strong about me and fun about me is gone forever. That's where I was, that's where my heart was. Just don't wanna ever bull you. That's where my heart was, it was dark. And I look up and on my mantle is a picture of this family and the man in that family is a serial adulterer, a coward and a fool. And I thought, your pastor thought, really God? Me? This happening to me? I've done nothing but serve you. I've done nothing but have my life wrung out for your glory. I've done nothing but make much of your name and your renown. And this clown gets health? And I'll tell you what, man. The Holy Spirit did not wait long to punch me in the soul. And he very quickly stepped in. Luke 15 flooded my mind, and I realized I'm like the older brother complaining outside. And the Holy Spirit pressed upon my heart. So he can't be a victorious story of my salvation and reconciliation? Only you can? Plus, brother, I think you might be elevating your own worth here. You, you really think that, um, that, that my plan is contingent upon you being here? Brother, you're going to go on the ground, come on home to me, and I'm just going to keep moving. I, I've hinged nothing on you, sweet friend. <laughs> and it was a really beautiful, awful moment. And I'm grateful to God for it. When we're enduring trials, we become hyper aware of the prettiness of other people's lives and we begin to resent them. And, and James here, via the power of the Holy Spirit, is going, no, 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 no. It's all level in the end. Don't, don't believe the Instagram hype. Everyone endures trials. Everyone struggles. We'll have seasons in which the sky is clear and we'll have seasons in which uh, they're cloudy. Uh, I am leading you into maturity. I am showing you you need me.